I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And we're so glad that you've opened your doors for us so we can come in and join you and be with you. And uh, we're just going to have a good time worshiping the Lord all around the world. We're central fo focused on one point, and that is the feet of Jesus Christ. And he draws us together. He says, if I be uh, crucified on that cross, I'll draw all men unto me. And from all over the world, he draws people to himself. And we're part of that great group all over the world that loves the Lord and trusts the Lord. So we're going to have a sermon today, of course, if we're going to have some letters and all. But the sermon is really an interesting sermon. It's a story from the Old Testament from a prophet named Malachi. And God has seven complaints against the children of Israel. Seven. And we're going to look at all seven of them. And by, we might just hold our breath because it might touch some of us here. So just uh, get your pencil and paper and join us in a minute. We're reading from Malachi chapter 3 today, and our sermon is entitled, Seven Complaints of God. And uh, it takes place in the Old Testament, and God has some complaints against his people, against Israel. And so he calls a prophet named Malachi, and he said, I want you to preach. And, uh, you know, when you preach something people don't like, boy, you're on the hot seat. But Malachi did it. He preached it no matter what they did, through eggs or whatever. I don't know what they did in the Old Testament, but they, they, wouldn't, they didn't take to it very good, I can tell you that. And so, but he says, God says there's seven things. So we're going to look at those seven things, and, and by George, it just might apply to this century, the very day we're in. So stay tuned and don't miss it because... Maybe, maybe God's got a complaint in your life. I don't know. We'll find out. But this is, what, this is the message he gives. Even if be, uh, Malachi chapter 3, starting with verse 7, if you're reading along with us. Even from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my ordinances. You have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But ye said, Wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. You're cursed with a curse, for ye've robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts. If I will not open unto you windows of heaven, pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and ye shall not, he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. And all the nations shall call you blessed, for ye shall be my delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. And so, Heavenly Father, you're talking to your people, but we are your people, though we Christians who name the name of Jesus, Christ ones, Christians, well, this message is for us. And so, Lord, as we look into your word and look into these seven complaints, may we search our hearts and our souls and walk closer with our God. We're praying, Lord, uh, always pray for the persecuted church. And now today we're praying for those in Malaysia. Where there are people laying down their lives. There are people losing their homes. There are people that are being hurt and persecuted. There are children that have lost their parents and their whole families that have lost their homes. Dear Lord, how your people are suffering today. And we just pray that we know you'll be with them, but help them to know that they're an encouragement to us. And we are stronger Christians, better Christians, because we see their life and their genuineness that they serve you unto death. And may we be willing to do the same thing. Give us grace to do that. So now bless us in this service that all our eyes and thoughts will be on Jesus. Beautiful, beautiful Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen.